Ivanhoe brings to the screen a romance that has grown immortal. An epic of gallantry, intrigue, and adventure in the tumultuous days of England's crusaders. Sir Walter Scott, the great storyteller, gathers his characters together at the tournament at Ashby. Here for the sports of chivalry come Rowena, Saxon queen on the arm of Cedric, and Isaac of York with his daughter, the beautiful Rebecca. Here too come Loxley and his forest outlaws, and the brave, preening Norman knights. It was a bitter day for strife torn England until, until the groaning crowd beheld a mysterious black knight. Black from boot to plume. There he was spurring into the lists to champion the innocent, to defend the right. This knight is no stranger. Only one Saxon could ever fight like that. Sir Ivanhoe? Ivanhoe. 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 I knew, I knew. Knew what, Rowena? That you were safe and that you were alive and that you loved me still. Ivanhoe, here in England, you told me he was dead. He should be and he shall be when he and I meet again. I love you. And I must not feel it. And yet I love you, Ivanhoe. Hold, my lords! I, Wilfred of Ivanhoe, do challenge the judgment of this tribunal. In the name of the accused, I demand that her guilt or innocence be determined in the eyes of God by wager of battle. On the third day hence, let the wager of battle be fought in the lists at Ashby. To the death. Rebecca, if I withdraw now, Ivanhoe wins by default and you both will live. While I shall fall from grace, a degraded knight without fame and without honor. All this I would endure if you would say... Bois Gilbert, I turn from Ivanhoe to you. Ivanhoe is the inspirational force and drive of truly great drama. For it is the meeting of two fierce tides of scheming, ambitious men. And against these, the valiant who fight for king and the lady's favor. One stately and stirring event follows another, holding you wrapped in thrills but none quite so much as the storming of Torkelson Castle. Normans, Saxons, each man dealing his thunderous blows with the strength of ten ordinary warriors. Hand to hand and man to man, 